Hello friends, welcome to the free automation learning and my name is Chirag. So today friends, we are going to uh, discuss synchronization in Selenium. So what is a synchronization? Basically in synchronization means we have to synchronize two things, right? In Selenium WebDriver, we, we already uh, designed our test script. Now when we run our test script, sometimes it fails because due to the network issue maybe sometimes uh, page takes uh, time to load or maybe there is any network issue so the network is, is slow and so we can face uh, different uh, uh, error exceptions uh, element not found timeout error so by uh, so there is a to overcome this situation there is a timeout interface so in selenium there is there is a timeout interface in timeout interface there were and there are three methods which are declared in interface these are implicit wait page load timeout and set script timeout so by doing this we can overcome the synchronization issue and in further video i will uh, discuss you the explicit wait it also a uh, uh, very important concept but for now we uh, are stick with timeout interface right now i'm going to show what is a implicit weight page load timeout and set script timeout so friend this is a interviewer question uh, many interviewer will ask what is a synchronization so you should know what is a synchronization and why we are using this timeout in selenium web driver so let me open my eclipse here and I'm going to create tutorial 16 class and finish. Now I'm going to create a simple method. Where is a I am declaring web driver is driver right now. I'm creating a new method. This is a public. name of method is setup now I'm going to invoke my Firefox browser this is my Firefox driver now I am going to call manage dot window dot maximize by this code we may First, discuss implicit weight. So basically, what is an implicit weight? By implicit weight, we can give to our driver that driver is wait for this minimum second or times which we have given in uh, in implicit weight before uh, fire any exception, no no such element found or something so this is called a implicit weight let me show you how we can implement implicit weight so this is a 60 second time i have given now i give time unit dot second right so this by doing this line i am setting 60 second to my driver that if uh, if any how any element uh, would not be uh, present uh, in my in uh, this html or this page that my driver wait for 60 second if it found it suppose it will be found at 10 second then it will go uh, to further execute our scripts it uh, if it will not uh, to find uh, this uh, any web element uh, within 16 second 60 second then it will find a exception that no such element found so this is known as a implicit weight 
so let me show you how this simply said weight and what is a this timeout so this is the interface which i am call uh, talking i was talking about timeout interface so this interface have three method this and this right and this is also known as synchronization by doing this we can synchronize our script with our uh, application right so this is a only a declare method but where this code has been implemented this code has been implemented at remote web driver class let me show you where this code is implement implemented right just give me a few seconds now i open web driver class this is a implicit weight this is a set script timeout and this is a page load timeout so in web drive in remote web driver there there would be a implementation of this method and this is the our interface where we have just declare our three methods right so this is a implicit weight right now i am going to talk about page load timeout so driver dot manage dot timeout dot page load timeout and here i give also a maybe a 30 second right time unit and here we can give time unit as days hours microsecond millisecond minutes nanosecond second so i am giving here 30 seconds so what is a page load timeout <coughs> sorry for page load timeout is actually sometimes you uh, see uh, that page is loading keeps loading so we can uh, by doing this we can set, uh, set our driver that uh, just wait for a 30 second before fire any exception that time out page has been not loaded exception so by doing this we can set our driver for the page load time out right and uh, if we do not set this then um, if uh, load uh, page keeps loading then uh, web driver fired a exception that page has has not been uh, loaded properly so to overcome this situation we just give this page load time out right and there is another uh, time out set script time out so friend i will discuss this is not much uh, useful you what is this so this is a set uh, skip time out in uh, in uh, web driver selenium web driver we uh, face many condition where we have to execute our java script executor so uh, and in java Computer, we can execute by our Java script by execute script method or execute as synchronous uh, script. So uh, when we use uh, uh, this Java script by uh, method uh, which is known as script as synchronous method, so that time we have to use this set uh, script timeout. so i will discuss you in coming minute just wait and understand what i am doing here so this is three method which we have give at the time when we set up our driver or when we invoke our driver so this by doing we give this just once time once a times when we create our driver right now i am going to 
HTTP Google dot com. This is my setup, and here I am just for click the static. I'm going to create another method so just give me a public static void right so I'm just giving as well so driver dot get current URL or maybe driver dot get title Just give me title of the window so it is easily able to understand. Now, friend, I'm for this set a script timeout. I was saying that we can, in some condition, we need to uh, we need to pass JavaScript to execute uh, our test script. So there were uh, there are many uh, condition where we have uh, give our uh, this JavaScript um, uh, script to our test script. So when we give this, then we have to set this uh, timeout. So what was that? Uh, I'm just showing you. I will discuss this Java script executor in further video. So just understand what is a uh, here just uh, try to understand what is a set skip timeout right so this is our driver javascript driver here i type cast i driver and now i'm going to use this script right so friend when i have to use this method at that time I have to set this set script timeout for this particular method so this for this because if I do not set that this timeout it will uh, give me a error that uh, this uh, the script which you, the JavaScript which you are going to execute has been timeout so I just give uh, my driver to wait particular time before uh, firing that exception so for this line we need to for execute script method we need to set up So this is the, our three timeout which we have already discussed in this video. And this is only uh, for this video. We have uh, just introduced uh, timeout uh, interface and synchronization. So guys, hope you like this video. If you like this video, please. Uh, press like button and if you want to subscribe my channel just subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video